Hello everyone, my name is Jesus and welcome to Bodega Restaurant. My name is Jesus Camarena and I am from Sahuayo, Michoacán, Mexico. It's a little town close to Guadalajara City. Uh, what brought you here? Well, two main things. The first one was to travel. Mm -hmm. I always like to travel and see different places, different cities. And the second one, obviously looking for a better kind of living. Uh, what do you do for a living and why? Okay, what do I do for a living? Well, I own a, a little Mexican restaurant in Calgary. I do it because I love food. It's fun to be playing with ingredients and see seeing happy people mm -hmm. when they when they eat it. Andrea has mentioned that you are also a pilot. Uh, what moved you? What inspired you to become one? Well, since I was a kid, I always loved planes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when I was maybe like three, four years old going to the street every time I hear a plane going by, back in Mexico, and I always look at the plane and I say bye to the plane. <laughs> I was, it was kind of silly, but well, mm -hmm. being a kid, it's, that's what it means, but being it happy, is. definitely. Mm -hmm. So once here in Canada, once I got my permanent residence, I said, well, I guess now I can pursue my, my dream. So I went to check on the school to get all the information about it. And just by chance, the ground school, it was starting the week after. So I was like, you know what, sign me in. And that's how everything started. That was back in 2015. Awesome. So since then I started taking the, the training. And finally, on February 1st, 2021, I was able to get my, my pilot's license. What were the biggest challenges you faced as an immigrant, business owner, and uh, a student in ABS school? Well, the first one, it was the language barrier, mm -hmm. because obviously I need to keep learning and, and how to express and how to talk to people. But I think slowly it's been getting there. For sure. That was one of the main barriers. The second one, to learn more about the system here in Canada, how it works, so all the regulations. It's not the same when you open a business back in Mexico, that being in Canada, it's completely different. Okay. So there are, more, there are more rules to follow. Mm -hmm. and to learn about and being at the school it was the same thing so just speaking in a aviation language is different than kitchen language it's completely different new words and everything and it, it wasn't it wasn't a, that easy mm -hmm. so that was one of the biggest challenges that i have okay. and, and obviously to be able to keep up with the business and the school and trying to arrange people that they can run the business and then I can go to school. So that was the part that was a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. Social life is pretty much at work. Oh, <laughs> That's my social yeah. life or it has to be at late night. I see. Yeah. And between school and work, well, I have to do whatever I can. Just arranging schedules at, at the restaurant and working with the instructors at the school just to, just to fit my schedule. So it's a little bit hard, but not impossible ever regretted any decision or anything, uh, any decision you made in your life? No, no, no I, I don't think no, no regrets because from all whatever decisions that I have taken in the past, either talking about work, education or anything else, I have learned from my mistakes and keep moving forward and trying to do everything better day by day. Were you ever uncertain or hesitant about your career career, uh, or wanted to throw in the towel and call it quits? Yes, definitely. So once you are struggling with uh, finding the right people to run your business while you are not there, mm -hmm. so sometimes you, want, you just want to throw the towel and say, well, I'm just going to focus on the business and, and that's it. And at the school, the school is busy with so many students. And then here in, in Canada, with the, with the weather, that doesn't help. Yeah, that, that too much wind or snow or things like that. So they make you keep uh, canceling. Always, oh, you're going to fly and you need to cancel. So then sometimes you're at the school and then you have to run back to the restaurant. Or sometimes they call you from the school. OK, we have a the spot available for today. Do you want to fly today? So then you are trying to get somebody to work at the restaurant on that shift. and. So then you can run to the school. Oh, 
So that's kind kind of interesting. What advice would you give to new immigrants who want to start their own business? Never to give up. Yeah, so they need to set up a, a goal and just follow the pathway that it's gonna take you to, to it. Mm -hmm. And keeping in mind that you're gonna find rocks on the way, mm -hmm. but you you need to learn how to jump them and keep going, keep Makes moving sense. forward. I believe that's all the questions we have. Well, fantastic. That, that was awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for devoting some of your time today and answering those questions. It was a pleasure to get to know you, meet you, and I cannot wait to come here again to indulge and enjoy some of your food. Well, anytime. You are very welcome. And don't hesitate. You know where to find me. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you.